And today we're going to explore just how much good a water hammer arrester might do. I've got a water hammer situation in the house. I'm going to try to do some actual measurement of the sound it's creating and how much sound this device installed properly will eliminate. So uh, let's get to it. Okay folks, here's the culprit and the area for the possible fix. So uh, this is what's causing the water hammer. It's a solenoid that's in line with my pool filler. When this kicks on and off, uh, it causes a pretty sizable bang that's quite uh, audible inside our kitchen particularly, which is right on the other side of this wall. Um, and so what happens is the water is actually moving through this pipe at a pretty good pace. Whenever it shuts it off, it just throws a roadblock and the water essentially piles up, creates a pressure wave that transmits up and down through the pipes. So we're going to try to, uh, we're going to, try to minimize that using water hammer arrest. Now the theory behind the water hammer arrester is that this little uh, cylinder here has got a, a seal in it in the middle and the top is filled with air it goes on to the faucet it pressurizes um, and the water pressure will push that uh, cylinder up it'll push that seal up compressing the air to match the uh, water pressure and then whenever the spike of pressure that causes the the actual the, the pipe hammer comes through uh, this gives it some wiggle room. You can't compress liquid, but you can compress air. So this basically gives your whole uh, water pipe system just a little bit of slack to take up that uh, that little sharp, small sharp shock that causes the water hammer, uh, the water hammer sound. So um, what I'm going to do is first I'm going to test the level of the sound that this uh, solenoid is creating. I've got it set up in the kitchen. I'll show you how that works. Okay, what I've got here, I've got a spectrum analyzer, an audio spectrum analyzer. You can see my voice making it react. Uh, running, and this is just on the other side of the wall from the, uh, the solenoid where all the pipes are banging. I got a camera here to capture the action. Okay, there are birds chirping, the refrigerator's running, I did turn off the air conditioner, the dog's running around, so there will be background noise, so not a laboratory situation here, but I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to reset this, um, I'm going to reset the, the peak hold so you can uh, see if anything pops up that's unusual, uh, sneak out, and I'm going to go cycle the... Um, Going to go cycle the pool filler solenoid five times so you can see the noise coming through. You should be able to hear it just fine through this setup because the wall right behind this phone here is the uh, one that the uh, solenoid is mounted on. And hopefully I can do this without the whole thing falling asleep while I'm gone. So uh, I'll stop talking as soon as I get everything reset here. And ready to go. Right, now this is just a convenient place to hook up the uh, water hammer arrester because it's right on the same circuit. Uh, this is turned off right now, obviously. I'm not getting soaked. So uh, what I'll do is get this thing screwed in. And make sure it's nice and snug. And then I'm also, I'm going to put a cap on it uh, because it's not going in line with something that's going to stay there. Um, you can put this in line with your uh, washing machine hoses, for example. It's kind of how this one's dis designed, um, and that should be a good solution as well. But now I'm going to turn on this tap, applying water pressure to this whole circuit, and pressurizing the air in this little cylinder. Okay, so, um, and I also have this so I can do multiple experiments at the same time to see how it all affects it so now okay we are pressurized i'm going to go back in 
I'm going to do the same test I just did uh, against my baseline. I'm going to cycle the um, pool filler mechanism five times and see what kind of results we get with one water hammer arrestor in line. All right, one of the things that always struck me about these things is how little they are. I mean, it's there's not a whole lot of space in there. I think that's probably fine because I think the actual peak of water pressure that's coming through is actually dimensionally very small. But just for grins, let's put two of them in line and turn the water on to them and go and repeat our test yet again. Okay, and to do a true Frankenstein kind of arrangement, it occurred to me that if this tiny little air pocket uh, that is sealed in here with some sort of seal is uh, effective in reducing water hammer, I began to wonder what happens if you put an actual real live hose. And this is a this is a special garden hose. It's it's probably more flexible than most. It's, uh, it's actually rated at 600 PSI bursting and 150 PSI working pressure. Uh, I got a 16 millimeter inside diameter, so it should be just perfect for my, my testing purposes here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn the water off to, it is off to my, uh, my water hammer arresters. I'm gonna turn it on to this. And you'll notice that I've put my cap on the end of this. So now water has run up this hose until the air pressure that's trapped in the upper part here has equalized. And uh, right now our uh, water pressure here is, is pretty high for residential. It's about 80 PSI. So there is an air pocket up here that's actually much bigger and possibly more coupled because there's no seal or anything other than just water and air in there. So let's go see if that has an effect on the water hammering in my pipes. And in the interest of completeness, I'm just gonna go ahead and go in uh, Full boat here. I'm going to put both water hammer arresters in line with my garden hose water hammer arrestor and just see if that makes any additional difference. Okay, so there you have it, folks. Uh, I mean, I think it's safe to say that uh, any combination that I tried made a huge difference. Uh, one certainly brought the noise down dramatically. Uh, the hose itself uh, also did. Uh, it actually seemed that putting two arresters actually increased the noise a little bit from the one arrestor format but I think that's probably just there's a lot of variability uh, here whenever this thing is turning on and off uh, so it's really hard to get too wonky about the results but basically it's clear that a water arrestor water hammer arrestor does work does eliminate the pipes banging um, the hose you know, hey, that works. I think that's a, that's, it, you know, maybe it's a temporary solution. Maybe it's a permanent one. Just to give you a little better A-B comparison, I'm going to go ahead and string together all five, uh, all five of my tests. And uh, so you can just listen to the audio and compare directly one right after the other without me yakking in between. So here it goes.
So there you have it folks, uh, hopefully that gives you some good information about why your pipes bang and what to do about it, uh, gives you some alternatives that you can use for a permanent or even a temporary solution, uh, and I hope this will help you get those pipes quiet. Thanks a lot.